What's up everyone, it's Hash and today we are going to learn a very famous TV show's theme song, The Office. I can't tell you how many times I run into people who tell me that this is still one of their favorite shows and this is one of my favorite shows as well. Still, this really easy opening theme song can be played on acoustic and on electric guitar. I'm going to show you guys how to play it on both. So don't worry if you're watching this video with an acoustic guitar, you're going to be able to play it on acoustic as well. So one thing I noticed on all the other lessons that I found online as well as the tabs is that no one's really teaching the last part of the intro on guitar, which is and then there's a high G note there. And that's probably why this is not being taught on guitar because the piano has more octaves than the guitar and you actually run out of notes when you're doing that last run in the end. But what I did is I worked this out on guitar so that way you'll be able to play the whole intro on guitar and whoever listens to you play is gonna think that, wow, you really know your stuff. All right, so let's get right to it. We are in standard tuning. I'm gonna give you guys my A string so you can play along. All right, so this is only four chords. G major, B minor, E minor, and C major. Okay, so if you don't know your basic chords, I'll go through them real quick. G major, third fret of the low E, second fret of the A. The D string and the G string are played open. Third fret on the B string and third fret on the high E string. That's a G major chord. B minor. So I'm barring down the second fret of my A string as well as my high E string. And I'm playing the fourth fret of my D string, fourth fret of my G string, third fret of my B string. So that's a B minor. Then we're gonna go to an E minor. And that's the second fret of our A and D string and everything else is open. And then we go to a C major. Third fret of our A string, second fret of our D string, G string open, first fret of our B string, high E open. And when we play this chord, we're gonna go. So what I'm doing is. And that's really the turnaround when the chord progression starts again. So when we put this together with the lead part, you'll be able to understand better why we do. But you can probably already tell by now because the theme goes. So obviously the first four chords are played by piano but I'm showing you guys how to do it on guitar. So when the drums kick in, they start playing power chords on the guitar. So they start going. So the way I'm doing that is the third fret of my low E, fifth fret of my A string. Then I go all the way to the seventh fret of my low E, ninth fret of my A string. Then I'm gonna come back to an E power chord, which is the second fret of my A string and my low E open. So let me slow down a bit, I know I'm going really fast. So this is a G power chord, which is the third fret of my low E, fifth fret of my A, all the way to the seventh fret of my low E and ninth fret of my A, this is a B power chord. Then we're gonna to come to an E power chord low E open, second fret of my A string, and then we're gonna play a C major chord. But the way we're doing it is, you can even play it as, so if you played it from here, you're playing the third fret of your A string, fifth fret of your D string, this is still a C chord. And then you can go, so, open two. So let's put it together, the rhythm part. All 
Okay, so let's play it slow. And then the main melody, we're going to play our G string open. Then we're going to play the third fret of our high E string. The second fret. Back to the third. So. Come back. So open. Three. Two, three, two. Then we're gonna play the third fret of our B string. And then we're gonna play it again, but we're gonna slide it to the fifth fret of our B string the second time. So. Again. And then the turnaround is. So we're going to play the first fret of our B string twice. Then we're going to play the third time, but when we play the third time, we're going to pull off to an open B string. And then we're going to play the second fret of our G string. And then we're going to play our B string open. So we went. So slow, let's put this together. Again. Okay, and then we're gonna play it a second time. So the first time we did. But this time what we're gonna do is. So we're playing our G string open, third fret for high E, second fret for high E, then back to the third fret for high E. So we go. Now we're going to add the fifth fret for high E. So. And then we're going to play the second fret for high E. So we're going to go from here to here. So, and then we're going to play the fifth fret of our B string. And this actually, the fifth fret is an open E string. So you could really play this as. It's the same thing. I think it sounds better when you go. Okay, so let's put it together with the first part. And then we're going to go. We're going to play the third fret of our B, fifth fret of our B. And then we're going to go back to the third fret. And then we're going to play our B string open. Let's put this together. And then we play the same thing as we did the first time. The first fret of our B string twice. Third time with a pull off to an open B. Second fret of our G string. B string open. So, so let's put this together. Okay, so now if you're playing this on an electric guitar, the second time around when I played it in the intro, you notice that I played it an octave higher from here, which makes it sound really cool. If you're on an acoustic guitar, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that because you'll be really tight over here. But on an electric, this sounds cool. If you played... Okay. 
So what I'm doing here, I'm using a little bit more gain, as you can tell. I'm playing the 12th fret of my G string. I'm going to the 15th fret of my high E. So I'm going. So this is really the exact same thing that I played over here, but I'm playing it starting from the 12th fret on my guitar. And on the 12th fret, you start your fretboard all over again. So any note that's on your first or your third fret over here is going to be the same note on the 13th or the 15th fret on your guitar fretboard. So we go. So I'm playing. 12, 13, 12 on my high E. Then I'm playing the 13th fret on my B string. I'm sliding to the 15th fret. So. Then I'm gonna go, which is our turnaround. That's the 13th fret of our B string. Play twice. Third time, but you pull off to the 12th fret of your B string. Then we play the 14th fret of our G string. And then we play the 12th fret of our B string. So we go. Let's put it together. Slow. And then we're gonna play the same thing again, but we're gonna add the additional parts, which is. Okay, so what we're doing is, which is the same as the first time, but then we're gonna go. So we go. Once again. Okay, so we're playing the 12th fret of our G string, 15th of our high E, and then we go. So we go 14, 15, 17, back to the 14th fret on our high E, so we went. And then we're gonna play the 17th fret of our B string. So. Again. And then we go. That's the 15th fret of our B to the 17th fret of our B. Back to the 15th. And then we're gonna play the 16th fret of our G string. So. And then back to the turnaround, which is. Okay, so let's slow this down. Okay, and then we have the last part, which is... Okay, so what we're doing here is we're playing our G string open and then we're gonna play B string open and then we're gonna play the third fret of our B string. And then we're gonna play our B string open again. So we're going. Now if you don't know any music theory, this really is a G major chord. We're playing the three notes in the G major chord. G, B, D. And the way they're doing this on the piano is they're playing a G major chord and they're playing it higher, 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 and then they end it on a G note. So what I'm teaching you how to play here is the same thing. The only difference is I run out of notes on here if I do the exact same thing as they're doing the piano. So I shorten it just a little bit, but nobody will be able to tell if you play it this way. So check it out. So we're going. And then we're gonna go to the third fret of our B and then to the third fret of our high E, and then back to the third fret of our B. So we went. And then we're gonna go to the eighth fret of our B string, which is a G note, 
and the seventh fret of her high E, which is a B note. So we went. And then we're gonna go all the way to the 15th fret of our B string. Now this is a D note, this again is in the G chord, and we're gonna play the 15th fret of a high E, and that is a G note, and we end it right there. So let's put this together. Again. Slow. And that's really all there is. As I mentioned, if you were doing it exactly how it's played on the piano, you would do... And then there's that high G note that we don't have, so instead we're doing... And that's all there is to this awesome, very memorable and catchy theme song. I hope you enjoy playing this in front of your friends and family and you show off in front of them showing that you know this cool theme song. Let me know if you'd like me to teach any other lessons like this. You can always comment below. I will catch you boys and girls next time. Take care.